Hey internet, what's up? This is a quick video about a lawnmower. This is a Bolin's 125cc lawnmower, the cheapest model you can get at Lowe's. It's got a Briggs & Stratton engine on it, and I have this new uh, pole recoil starter to install. It's actually not brand new, I took it apart to confirm my theory about why this one broke, and it was a pain to put back together. It did not want to cooperate with me. This one actually came apart much easier, the one that was inside. As you can see, it's still clipped in. I haven't removed that. I still have all the little the little parts and stuff. But basically, I just wanted to, to show you there's the recoil spring in there. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of, you know, uh, the grease has, has blackened, so it's kind of the same color as everything else. And that goes around this shaft. And it's got a tab on the inside right there where it hooks into place and then it's supposed to have a tab down here where it hooks into place so that it actually springs. That tab is this piece of plastic right here that broke off. So this entire assembly, this entire lawnmower actually uh, relies on this piece to still be there and it, it sheared off because it's not a very strong, pl it is a, I mean it's a strong plastic but plastic still isn't that strong so it, it sheared off, and I've had a hell of a time. Briggs & Stratton customer service has been not particularly helpful, although I've emailed them, I haven't called them. Uh, so we'll see how this works, though. I have this new one to install, and that should work, but just be aware, you might want to buy something that has a little bit less plastic in it if you want something that lasts forever. I'm not too worried about it. All right, so here we are. Everything's installed. It was actually really easy. There's no screws, although you might think there are, because there are screw holes. There are actually just these uh, plastic tabs that come up over these four bits. And you just pry under them, and once you get two, you've pretty much got them all. This pops out really easy. So to its credit, it is nice and easy to change this device if you, uh, if you need to. It's just that one little plastic bit in there is really easy to fail. And actually, my uh, taking it apart might have helped because now there's a little less tension on the spring with the uh, starter pull rope because there was a little bit of slack that I introduced make, taking it apart. It also comes with this plastic replacement for a metal piece, which I think is really interesting. I didn't feel the need to put it on, but the piece in there originally is metal, so I can't imagine uh, this being a particularly adequate replacement, but it's nice that it's been thrown in, I guess. I don't know if you can get a metal replacement for this, or if this is just the replacement part, but it's thrown in with this, uh, but this seems to have worked fine. We'll see how it performs.